Guys, today's video is one I've been wanting to do for a long time, Wine Pairing 101. It combines two of my favorites, wine and food. I mean, who doesn't like to put wine and food together? It's been going on for years, by the way, for thousands of years. You might say it's a little bit of an obsession for me, and if you've seen our videos before, you know there's a previous one where there's another obsession we talked about, brushing our teeth. Adam and I actually compete with each other. Who has the most clean teeth? We went to the dentist, and he won. I don't want a very, very hard, but yours is one of them. So thanks to Pronamel for sponsoring this video. Why and food, they've been paired together for thousands of years. And here in Napa, where I grew up, we've been pairing food since I was little. Of course, you can't drink wine until you're 21, but the whole experience of food and wine together is amazing. And there's a lot of really cool things you can pair with wine. First of all, there's no rules. If someone says, oh, red wine only goes with meat and white wine only goes with fish, guess what? You can drink wine with whatever you want to. There is no particular rule that has to be followed. You can follow or make your own rules. That's the way I, I feel. And that's a Tamara truth bomb. The thing you do want to start with, you want to go sweet or light wine to heavier when you're trying them all, because otherwise it's like going backwards. It'd be like having dessert and salsa. Doesn't work. You want to go the other way around. You want to go salsa than dessert. So in this case, we're starting off with our Arts Nemesis Rosé. This is a rosé that's had one day of skin contact. This is really fruity. Now there's two types of glasses we can use for these for wine tastings, or there's more than two, but the two we use are stem and stemless. It kind of is a preference. A lot of people feel that if you put your hand on the stemless glass, that the warmth of your hand will change the wine. It's really dependent on what you want to do as a wine drinker. So I, gen I generally put my rosé wines, pink wines, rosé, same thing, in a stemless glass. Our white wines, I usually put that as well in a stemless glass. And red wines, I usually put into a stemmed glass. Rosé and chocolate is fabulous together. We have a strawberry white chocolate here. So you're gonna get the berries of the strawberry and the white chocolate to go with the rosé. Take a bite. Oh, cool. This is Tamara's favorite. The flavors explode. The flavors of the rosé and the flavor of the, the white chocolate, they just, they just go together. So Tamara's been coming to Napa with me since we started dating almost 17 years ago. And we have paired wine, had the opportunity to eat and pair with wine all over the valley, all over Napa County, Sonoma County, pretty much wine country. We've also done that in Italy, Croatia, Greece, Spain, and in Portugal. So um, as you can tell, we like to pair wine with food and we like to explore other wine in other food regions as well. What's interesting is you can also have wine with stuff you would never think about, like popcorn. In this case, this is our Sauvignon Blanc, which is a Sauvignon Blanc is a white grape, so there's no skin contact there. You can see how light that is. See how light that is in the glass. So great, sm um, great nose on the on the on the wines. Nose means when you smell it, what it smells like. It smells amazing. So here we have everything from caramel popcorn to barbecue chips, to brandy brittle. All of these, again, will go fabulous with wine. So here's popcorn. You get the salt and the sweet. Mm. And you add the Sauvignon Blanc to it. Again, wine goes with everything. Then you have the barbecue chip. Savory. Mm. Mm -hmm. Also the salt comes out with the wine. So. Salt and sugar go great with wine. The saltiness really pairs well and contrasts the acidity you're gonna get in wine. So besides the salt, the fruitiness of wine will also pair well with sweets. So for example, while these wines are all dry, meaning there's no sugar content in them, when you have a piece of chocolate with it, those two combine to create this, ex this explosion of flavor. So now you have the, this is Brandy Brittle. Caramel, the chips and popcorn, salt, sugar. Mm. I forgot the wine. That was a good pairing. Now we go into the more savory items of cheese, crackers, fruit, which does similar uh, has a similar way of bringing the flavor out on wine as sugar does, and then salami meat. So, for example, when you see a cracker in wine, what crackers do is they cleanse your palate. Believe it or not, a cracker. There's not a lot of taste, a little bit of salt, 
that's it. What that does is when you have that cracker and you go to your wine next, it completely cleanses the palate. So now you taste the wine directly. Now we move over to the reds. In this case is an old vine Zinfandel, which is a bigger, bolder red. Dark wine would go with dark chocolate. Dark wine would also go with raisins, dates, for example, and of course, cheese goes with everything. Ascariah, cheese goes with everything. Dad, can I okay. eat a lot of cheese now? You want to eat a lot of cheese again? Yeah. Gonna... In this case, the Zinfandel is bigger, it's bolder, so the chocolate I'm using is a spicy, dark chocolate. So with salt on top of it, you're gonna have the spice, the salt, and the dark chocolate. Obviously, three completely different flavors. Then you have the depth of the red wine to it. Mmm, that's good. Huh, common theme here, right? It's good. Cheese, the dairy and the cheese, it just, it's a nice, subtle, smooth way to pair with the wine. Less cheddar I'm having with Zinfandel. That's good. Kind of something else you can do too, besides the cheese. As you're having cheese and wine, you can also cleanse the palate a little bit with fruit. Dried fruit goes fabulous. In this case, it's a dried apricot. So the apricot will have that sugar content that the chocolate will have, but it'll be natural sugar content. So I mentioned that we've tasted all over the world together, Tamara and I. And I can tell you, it's been kind of fun when you're in, for example, Portugal, and they bring out sardines to have with wine, or just different parts of the world where you have different things and different types of wine, different types of food. So again, you can pair wine with anything. We've known that for thousands of years, uh, but these are the bases that are really um, easy to pair with. Now that I go to olives, I'm gonna switch over to our Cabernet. Zinfandel is a bigger wine. A Cabernet is also can be big as well, but it's a little bit more smooth. So with our Cabernet, you're gonna get all sorts of dark berry flavors. You're gonna get some spice in there. So olive oil and olives and cheese go just fabulous with Cabernet. So here's a green olive. I can get another green olive and some cheese. This is Tamara's favorite. I wonder where she gets the cheese obsession from. Could be the other way around. Araya had the cheese obsession, maybe she got it from Tamara. The olive oil, the cheese, the saltiness of the, the olive itself, all those flavors together, even without wine, is amazing. Then you add the wine to it with the acidity. Mm. And the alcohol and the content and the fruit and the boldness of the Cabernet. It is all those flavors together. The idea is to mess them all, to bring them all together into one big flavor-filled taste. And that's what these do. So again, about pairing wine, there's a bunch of ways to do it. As I mentioned, there's no rules. I think you can drink wine with whatever you want to. But if you really want to get down to it and follow the unwritten rule, think of color. So dark wine, dark sauces, light wine, light sauces. It's better to match the wine with the sauce than it is to match the wine with the food. So for example, maybe I'm having chicken. With chicken, you would think lighter wines, right? Not necessarily. If the chicken's in a pasta sauce, a red sauce, you would then drink it with a red wine. That's kind of the easy way of doing it. But there is what's called the contrast theory as well, where maybe you have a sweet, piece of chocolate with a heavier red wine. Those work as well. So there's, again, no real actual rule, but if you wanna follow the unwritten rules, that's kind of the easy way of doing it. Light to light, dark to dark. You kinda of wanna match the flavor profiles if you can, but contrast is also good as well. It's actually a blast to do this all at home. They're trying to figure out what you like and create your own. It's all about the presentation and the food, but ultimately it's about the taste. What's great about wine pairing, is that you can do it yourself at home and decide what you like, and there's really no wrong answer. So after drinking wine and eating food and pairing them together, it's very important to get the acidic elements off of your teeth by rinsing. Um, you're having wine that's acidic, you're having food that's acidic, so you wanna get that out. Just a good old glass of water is the fabulous way of doing it. You wanna do this and wash it out, by rinsing, it'll help get that acidity off the teeth, but you don't wanna brush right away. While you might wanna go in and brush those red stains off your teeth, you wanna wait about an hour because it'll actually do more damage to the enamel by brushing right after you taste wine or eat acidic food than it will if you wait that hour after rinsing your teeth. Everyone has gone to bed, so I'm back to brushing. 
Wine and everyday foods have acids that can deplete the minerals in your body, which weakens your teeth's enamel, but Pro Enamel Mineral Boost is an amazing toothpaste that enhances your body's ability to naturally replenish those minerals, and it boosts the absorption of really important minerals like calcium and phosphate. This toothpaste keeps your teeth strong and white. Oh yeah, of course, I know this, I brush with this stuff at least twice a day, depending how much wine I have, of course. Uh, let me know in the comments below what other kind of wine videos you'd like me to do while I brush my teeth. And thanks again to Pro Animal for sponsoring this video. You can find Pro Animal Mineral Boost in a box like this anywhere you buy your toothpaste. Or you can buy it now by clicking on the link in the description and be sure to subscribe to The Housey Life.